This video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. Hey guys, Big Paul here today. I have a supplement review for you. Um, this is QRF um, from uh, First Detachment Nutrition. This is a liver support supplement that First Detachment just put out. I'm going to give you my thoughts on it. I have some um, I just started using. Uh, really, it has all the ingredients in it that I already use. It's Tudka, uh Milk Thistle, and um, NAC. I just take them independently of each other uh, for liver support um, while I am on cycle. Um, I do like this. Uh, this is Justin Harris's um, and uh, his partner. Uh, they, they have this supplement company, but... Uh, the, the, the cool thing with the supplements that they're putting together, they seem to be designed. I haven't spoke to Justin about this, but um, it seems to be designed for cycle support. A lot of these go in hand in hand with your cycle, which is really cool that somebody's designing supplements that way. It's a smart way to design supplements. Um, so we're going to take a look at it. Um, I mentioned the ingredients. So first thing, we'll, we'll, we'll take a high level look at the ingredients. Um, NAC, milk thistle, and tucka, which are widely regarded in the bodybuilding community as the best stack for liver health. Uh, if you're pounding the orals, um, you know, eating a shit ton of food, you know, beating your body up, this is this stack has, has been proven over a time to bring your liver enzymes back in check and keep your, keep your liver relatively healthy. Now your liver is pretty resilient. You can beat it up pretty, pretty well and it can recover from a lot. I'm not saying that you should push the limits on it, but um, the problem is, is like when your liver is unhealthy, especially if you're uh, pounding the anadrol and doing other things like that, it, you start losing appetite and you feel sick. You have a, a fielding of malaise. That's why I don't like guys hammering the oral so much because you just, you get to a point where your stomach gets upset. You start feeling sick. Um, and it's just hard, hard to train hard and eat when you don't feel well. And that's the issue with the supplement or with, uh, with, uh, pounding orals and the supplement in theory should help deal with some of that. So let's take a look at some of the ingredients individually. NAC um, is the one that I, um, uh, it, you know, the biggest fan of. NAC is really the only thing that I have ever taken that I've seen dramatic differences in my liver enzymes with my blood work. Um, NAC, um, uh, N-acetylcysteine is a glutathione precursor and is a direct antioxidant. It comes from the amino acid l cysteine L-cysteine. Um, the FDA right now is in a battle with supplement companies, telling supplement companies that it is illegal for dietary supplements uh, because NAC is technically approved as a drug for clinical use. They use it in hospitals when people come in for acute kid or liver failure. You got guys that show up at the hospital with liver failure. Um, and they give people NAC to bring them out of liver failure. Um, it, it works, you know. And I, I think what it is is these greedy, greedy ass pharmaceutical companies don't want people selling it as a supplement. They want they want their pound of flesh and to sell it as a drug. And right now they there's a legal battle going on. Um, so I would scrape this up while you can still get it. Um, I have a feeling the the FDA. When, when the FDA goes up against uh, um, supplement companies, the FDA always wins. It just seems that way. Um, now, the supplement industry is fighting right now to try to save NAC. NAC has been sold as a supplement for years and is excellent at liver support. It works excellently. Um, studies have shown that NAC significantly protect, protected um, the liver against acute ethanol-induced liver damage in a dose-dependent manner. Um, and uh, patients with non-acetaminophen-related acute liver failure, NAC significantly improves overall survival rate. That's why they give it in the hospital when people come in with acute liver failure. You, they, they can literally pull people out of liver failure uh, when they show up at the hospital with this stuff. Um, it may also play a role in preventing cancer. Uh, another neat thing with it, too, is if you take it prophylactically, it seems to prevent um, liver damage um, from alcohol use. So <laughs> not that I'm encouraging you uh, to 
be a drunk, but you know, if you're going to hammer alcohol, if you know you're going to go out on the weekend and get hammered, if you take this stuff in advance, um, it, it, it can prevent liver damage. So, you know, just something to think about. Uh, milk thistle. Um, I know a lot of people like milk thistle and have taken milk thistle. I, I've honestly never seen much of a difference in my blood work with my liver enzymes with milk thistle. Maybe a little bit. Um, uh, milk thistle is a flowering herb related to the daisy um, and ragweed family. It is a native to Mediterranean countries. Um, so lamarin is the antioxidant and primary active ingredient in it that is um, used for a liver uh, protectant. It's a natural uh, treatment for things like liver cirrhosis, jaundice, hepatitis, gallbladder disorders. Um, anecdotal evidence suggests that it can uh, treat cirrhosis and chronic hepatitis. Um, su uh, studies suggest that it may help ease inflammation in the liver and promote cell repair in the liver as well. Um, studies also show that it can help improve uh, diabetes as well. It's shown you know, shown some improvement in diabetes. So there is that. And it may reduce the chances of cancer as well. There's some anecdotal evidence that it lowers your odds of getting cancer. Um, like I said, you know, I, you know, it can't hurt to take it. Um, I haven't seen a big difference with milk thistle in my blood work. But, um, you know, when stacked with these other ingredients, it, it you know, certainly um, is effective. Tudka. Tudka, I definitely noticed a difference with Tudka. Um, Tucka also helped my stomach. I, I, I had a lot of stomach issues. Uh, I've been searching and trying to solve problems with stomach issues over the last several years. And Tucka definitely is one of the things that contributed to my, I think contributed to my improvement, in my digestion and my, my, my stomach issues. Um, Tucka is a, uh, taurine, uh, conjugate of the, um, Urso deoxalicolic acid, I think, UDCA. Um, I probably slaughtered that pronunciation. Um, the FDA has approved it for um, hydrophilic bile acid for the treatment of certain uh, cholestatic liver diseases. So it is actually an approved FDA treatment for liver diseases. Um, it improves also, it helps with the gut. And like, like I mentioned, improves the intestinal barrier, improves the gut microbiome. Um, studies have shown that it stopped the progression of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease which seems a big, big issue with a lot of bodybuilders, um, pounding shit tons of food, um, pounding orals, uh, you know, the lifestyle, the bodybuilding lifestyle seems to be conducive to causing non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. A lot of bodybuilders have it, don't realize it. Some of them do find out. Um, so this does help with that. Also improves bile flow and reduces liver enzymes as well. I have seen improvement on my blood work when, when using it, especially when stacked with NAC. So I, I, like I said, right now I use a stack of NAC Tucka um, and milk vessel for my liver protection um, protocol. And it works very well. I, I was at last year, I've never really run liver protection before. And during my contest prep last year, I think my ALT and AST were up to like 300 after pounding orals at the end of my contest prep. It was ridiculous. It felt like shit. Um, and I ran this stack for 30 days and I brought both. I think it was within 30 days. You know, of course I stopped the orals, but I brought my liver enzymes back down to normal values within 30 days. It was pretty crazy. Um, all right, guys, that's all I have on this one. I, you know, rather than taking all three, take this one. It has all three in it and I would stock up. I don't know how much longer they're going to be able to sell this shit. Uh, because I, uh, it seems pretty likely that the FDA is going to pull NAC off the market, which to me is the most effective ingredient in this stack. NAC is the one that really works. Um, so I would stock up on it while you can still get it. Uh, you can head over to firstdetachmentnutrition.com. If you want to grab some, I have a discount code over there, AB10, you get 10% off. Um, no pressure, but you know, I, I can tell you taking these independently, and I now have some um, of the of this uh, supplement from uh, First Attachment Nutrition. They, they've, they've sent me some, and I, I'm using it instead of, you know, having to take three pills twice a day, I take one pill. So um, this works much better. Uh, it's, you know, than having to pound a bunch of pills it's just easier um so i would grab some that's my two cents um if you
you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. If you have questions about it, put it in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer any questions that you might have. And thanks for watching my video, guys. I really appreciate it. Take care.